Hello, my lovely friends. Welcome back to San Dorado in City Skylines. My lovely map. Um, it's been a while. I apologize. You know, uh, adulthood. You know, adulthood kicks in, gaming takes background, you know, backstage, back burner, whatever. Um, that and, you know, ADD burnout, you know? You know, you end up playing it so much in a short period of time and you're like, okay, I'm done. So, <laughs> hopefully those who understand, understand. So, anyways, I'm, I'm back here. Um, I've been playing it a lot recently, um, but unfortunately some footage has been lost. This video pretty much will consist of two time lapses, and then I'm gonna we're just gonna go into the um, live play and kind of show you how the game is at the, or how the map is right at this moment. So that is that. So right now we are building um, this time lapse. The first time lapse is actually gonna be pretty much in three quadrants, so so to speak. Um, right now we are building a waste management facility, a dump, so to speak. And then we are going to be building a water facility, and then we are going to start prepping the new city center um, in the downtown area. Um, but for right now, we're kind of building a dump area. There's a mound in the middle, and then what I'm trying to do is with the fences here, I'm trying to like quadrant off the dump area to kind of give the illusion of this different types of material or different types of things go into these different types of areas, different types of material, like um, uh, different types of metal, for instance, uh, fluids, I don't know. You just, I saw, I think I saw somebody do this, something similar to this on YouTube, but then I was just like, you know what, that's a really good idea. So I'm, I'm, this is kind of me taking that idea in, in, in my own interpretation. But um, I do put some random stuff in there, like I do some, some decals. And then what I did forget to do is I should put a waste transfer facility in this area and then throughout the city um, waste transfer like little stations and then um, hopefully that will kind of oops, the dog hopefully that will kind of alleviate some of the pollution in the other areas or get these trucks out further because they still in some areas of the city were like I need water pick up trash water whatever, whatever. I'm like shut up um, <laughs> and randomly I decided to put in some 135s um, they're definitely not 145s from Embraer because those are, those are longer. So it looks like a 135 or a 140. You know, they're old, they're decommissioned. And maybe this waste facility is charging really cheap um, to store them there. Who knows? So that's where they are and I love it. <laughs> but um, as I said, I have lost some footage. So the city has grown um, and I have tinkered around with the new airport DLC. Um, for those of you who do not have it, I do highly recommend it. It is, I'm having quite a lot of fun with it. Um, there are some limitations, but hopefully the modding community will figure those out. So I'm very excited for that. However, um, I do have an airport now and we will show that at the end of the video. And I'm very excited for that. Um, we're about to switch over to the water treatment facility, but as you can see, like there are a lot of negative areas in the city that just haven't grown at all. I do fill in some of that area. Um, the city has kind of grown out towards this waste, waste facility ex treatment facility. Excuse me, tongue tied. And, uh, and then the railway does come in that area too. Um, and here is where I'm building the water treatment facility, which kind of sucks for the people on the other side of the river because like, ooh, you get to look out on an industrial water treatment plant. Cool. <laughs> um, nah, I mean, I mean, this whole area over here is kind of industrial, especially with the um, forestry industry. And I do end up putting in some regular zoned industry which i might end up changing and just i'm not feeling it just because it's like one lump of like a dead end street of industry i think i did that just to, for the city needs because the city was um having some goods problems and that's probably and i think that's the quickest way to solve goods problems is just build industry um I, but i don't like it and then um i don't end up changing the roadways but now that i'm looking at it in this perspective, I do think I need to change the roadways a little bit, just because that is a big intersection right there, and most of the traffic is turning left from the bridge over into the forestry industry. And I do end up putting some housing in this area too, some like some low-income housing, and like some neighborhoods and everything. So more and more traffic is gonna come over here. So I do think I eventually need to beef that up. But, um, I have no reference point. I didn't look up any water treatment facilities, so I don't think there's a whole bunch of realism in this area. I just, in my mind, that looks good. 
that looks fine. And I don't think they necessarily need to be on the water here, but in again, in my mind, that's what looked good. So I do think I end up, um, I look at the, what I needed for the water, and I think I add another portion of this. Again, it's been a little while since I've played, or since I've looked at this, these time lapses. So, yeah, and um, as I get, as I said, the map creator did an amazing job. My only problem with that, which, which I can clearly fix with mods, um, is just I have no grass, um, in terms of like surface paint or anything like that. I had nothing to give that illusion of grass. Like farmland, it's just a slightly more yellow version of the desert dirt color. So I think I'm going to change that because I do think if you had a nice household within the city, you would have the irrigation to have green grass because, I mean, what is more suburbia other than green grass? So I do think I want to, I do want to tinker around with that, especially with, um, like for instance, in front of my airport where we have intersections and you know right when you enter the airport where in the real world there would be like a sign saying oh welcome to me 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 airport i do think there would be some nice grass there um so i do need to look into that i think it's theme manager i think it's the i have to look into that theme manager yes um and i'm finishing this up and again it's not beautiful it's very utilitarian it does its job um, I did kind of want to add office buildings to kind of give the illusion that is a, you know, the company who owns this, the company who runs it does have some offices here. Um, very small, albeit to say, but small offices. So that works. Um, what else do I do? Yes. So the whole reason I did that is so I could take those water treatment facilities out from the center city. And this is where I start building the center city. I kind of wanted to do it back further rather than kind of putting it right on that main street that comes off the circle in this main part of town. So I put it back a little bit and I kind of delete this whole area, just give me a clean slate. Now I did see, I believe it was $2.20, who used a university building as like the city's main city hall, so to speak, or, you know. So that's what I did and I think it looks amazing just because it gives that grandeur because a lot of the other buildings, the scale is off. So to me, that doesn't make a lot of sense because like the, um, I think it's, what is it? The oppression office? That's tiny. It's supposed to look like a big, you know, almost almost like the US Capitol. It's supposed to be big and grandiose, but it's just the scale is all wrong. So what I ended up doing is I ended up doing a university here. Now in my mind, um, willing suspension of disbelief, it's not going to, it's going to be a functioning university technically, but I'm not going to treat it as a university. Um, in my mind and for the city's purposes, it's going to be the city's government buildings. So I do put um, a few of the liberal arts campus buildings around this area. I do end up deleting some of them just cause I, I think there was some part of my brain that was forgetting that it wasn't an actual campus. So I kept adding more and more and more. And then when I eventually build um, a real campus, which we'll see later in the time or um, in the live play, we were struggling for students. So I ended up shrinking down this, what is it called right now? Robin College of Liberal Arts. I ended up calling it the Rhodes City Center. Um, and I just to kind of train my mind, okay, Jenny, this, <laughs> this isn't an actual campus. So I do change that. And then um, I end up, some high rises end up popping up. So this becomes an actual proper fun um, downtown city center. What am I doing? I'm, am I struggling with zoning here? Yeah, whatever. So this is what we're gonna call the city's, what is it? Why am I blanking? City Hall, oh my gosh. Um, so the, the courts will be their main government buildings, the mayor's office, so to speak. And then to the right of everything that's being done right now, we do end up putting the main train station, which I don't love. I love the train station itself. I love that asset. However, my problem with it is the infrastructure I put around it for transit, I don't end up loving now in retrospect. So I do have a feeling, I do know eventually I want to make a highway that goes around the back of the city so I think when I do that, I'm going to redo a lot of the transit networks. Um, I do end up putting trams on this main road. Um, I did have a time lapse for that. Again, lost it. Don't know how. Just gone. <laughs> so that will be, um, there are trams there. Again, 
I don't love it. I loved it when I built it. Don't love it now, a few months later when I'm looking at it. So we are going to take a look at that and change that up a little bit. So, and I do end up building across the river over into my other little area. And that is where I end up building the university. That's where the airport ends up going. So that area ends up becoming pretty, I don't want to say the word dense because I didn't put high density over there. Um, but it becomes pretty popular. So I end up taking, or I, today I took the, one of the tram lines and put it down over into on the other side of the river. Um, don't love it, but it works, it's okay. But I think when, I do wanna do a transit episode where I look at highways infrastructure, because uh, I wanna build a new highway around the city, as I said, because when I'm looking at it, all of the industry that's behind the city, so to speak, has to go through city roads to get to the main highway, and I hate that idea. So, and even like over to where my industry area is right now, oh, we're, we're sorry, we are into the next episode, or the next um, time lapse, we're building the railway station. So, as I said, like this is kind of where the industry is over to the right here, and everything has to go through this main road right here where I'm building next to. So I end up changing a lot of that. And you can kind of see in the distance where the city center has grown up. So what I'm doing right now is I end up putting the, I cut the park size in half, and then I end up putting the rail lines directly next to the water in the um, park. And I feel like it, it's, it's the least evasive. I feel rather than destroying a whole bunch of houses and I'm building right on the water's edge. And I feel like they would just push the water's edge out a little bit and then um, be able to do that. So what I end up doing is this, and then this is gonna branch out into the main station. And now this main station will be the hub for inner city trains and people going to um, Del Mar, the other city. Um, the city of, oh crap, what's the other city's name? I want to say Patterson, but I don't know that's not it. I think that's another city, <laughs> city skylines person city. Anyways, um, yeah, I don't forget the, I forget the name of the other city. And a new city is coming too. I want to build a, a new city elsewhere. Um, but I end up, um, I hate the way this game does merging of lines. And I know there's a mod out there that makes it so much easier and so much prettier to look at. I just... I don't have the patience for it. I really don't to sit there and learn all these new mods. I mean, I love the mods and the modding community in this game, but I feel like a lot of it is just, it gets cumbersome after a while. And when you have so many, so much could go wrong. Like today, um, Network Extensions 3 randomly became incompatible with um, the traffic mod, the Presidente Edition traffic mod. I forget the actual title of it. Like I've been playing with it for about a week. So, it's, I mean, it's fine because I just downgraded back to the um, Network Extensions 2 rather than Network Extensions 3. So, but it just randomly decided, hey, I don't want to be compatible anymore. Maybe one of the maybe one of the mods updated for um, the airport's DLC. Maybe, I don't know. So this road I'm building right now, actually, I do end up changing it into a collector. Um, I limit the interactions with the residential neighborhood. And I think... I think I have a tram on it right now. That's gone. I didn't end up finishing that. Um, and it just, it didn't work after a while because in the early ages days of this game, I have the train station down near the industrial park. And I ended up deleting that altogether because I built, just built a brand new train station. So it was going nowhere. I think it was just serving residential communities. And I mean, they can, no, bye. You can <laughs> you can catch a bus. So I just want the tram serving the um, main stretch, the higher density part portions of the city. It may be taking people to this main trade station. So that's the whole idea behind the main trade station. So this is like the old train station. I ended up deleting it. And I have no love for this park. I have given no love to this park and I feel guilty for it. But I mean, it'll come. I mean, I'll eventually give it some love. And okay, if anybody knows why randomly trees will pop up in the road sections when I move things, I feel like it's a mod clashing with something. And again, this is kind of back to what I was saying about I love the modding mods, but if like one thing goes wrong, 
it goes wrong. And I'm just, it's, it, it, it just gets annoying after a while. But granted, that could just be me being a bad player and not understanding it, which is highly, well, sounds highly likely. Yeah, so um, this whole area, I just end up changing into just railway junctions. Um, and I'm not great with railway junctions, and I still, there's a lot of areas that need to be, um, I love the idea of separating the cargo from passenger lines. It's not the best, but, um, I do want to change that. Like, this looks ugly to me. And I do wish, um, it's, for those of you who have ever played Transport Fever 2, the railway line mergings and crossover sections, it, it's all beautiful. It's all done beautifully. So... Yeah, I delete that train station, so now the main train station for roads will be right down there in that town. And there are some other smaller train stations around, but those are more um, local. This will be the main area for... Yep, see, uh, Peterville? Is that what I called it? Oh my gosh, how can I not do that? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna go with Peterville right now. That's not the name. Perryville! Oh my god, that's what it's called. Perryville. Anyways, so... I rebuild the road networks here because for the majority of it, it's just industrial over on this side. But I I think the highway is going to cut through whenever I decide to do that episode. Um, the highway is going to cut through this whole section. And I am going to do some residential. Because I do think it would be nice to have some like nicer residential kind of skirting around this park. I mean, it kind of sucks that there's a railway line and some industry on the other side. But I do think it would just be nice to have some nice, um, you know, winding. Because it does get rather hilly on this side. So I do think it'd be nice to just have some nice flowing residential um, rather than kind of, and kind of breaking away from the more gridded areas that is the main city here. And I love how I said I'm not going to be deleting a whole bunch of um, houses, but no, oh, sorry. Yeah, and like eventually I do come back here and I limit the um, intersections on this highway and I do give it a higher speed limit, kind of hoping that people will treat it as a collector. They do end up doing it because one of the, what is it, Cypress Fields? Is that one of the neighborhoods it's called? Yeah, I do end up putting a traffic ban on that because we were getting some industrial traffic through the city or through the residential neighborhoods and I hate that. Like that's not realistic. Like imagine like, oh, you just bought your first house, you love it, and then you look out and you just have like massive dump trucks or oil trucks going. I mean, maybe that is for some of you. I don't know, I live on a quiet street. <laughs> so if that is your reality, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that the city planner did that to you. But um, you know, we just want something quiet. That's all we want, we want quiet, peace and quiet. <laughs> so um, I, I did want to go back and give this park some love. Um, I'm not good at parks. I don't know what it is. I just not good at it. Maybe I just haven't given it enough try or patience. It just, it just seems like a lot of work. But I do end up putting a pathway directly next to this rail line. So um, it's not pretty, but I feel like it's kind of semi-realistic that the city kind of went through and slapped some railroads down. Like there's no way to get to the other side of the park now. So they just kind of built an elevated path right alongside the railway that brings you up to the other side. So, I kind of like that. So I just, it, again, it just needs detail work. And I do end up putting a zoo in here. Um, I don't like it. So it's going to be reworked because I haven't really envisioned the other side of the railway, the um, train station, the main roads tra train station. I haven't really envisioned what I'm going to be doing with it on the other side. So right now, what you see is what it is. So it doesn't get much broader. So I've kind of envisioned like I've, I've started building some suburbia on the other side, not necessarily on um, the, the back section there. So, and I'm here like I, the, the node, so, oh, hold on. the node selection is, no, sorry, the node controller is probably the easiest way to get those train lines looking a little better. It is what it is. Okay, and this is what I was talking about with the way I do the transit lines. Um, like this right here, it's a bus transfer. It's fine. I just think in reality, it's not the best place for it because I feel like that would be highly desirable real estate right there. And instead we have some crappy looking bus line transfer stations. And I don't have great bus lines in my city. I think I have three. One for Del Mar, one for Rhodes, and one going to Peter Patterson. See, I forgot the name. I forget. Perryville. Oh my gosh. Perryville. So I haven't really utilized bus transfers and bus stations. But again, I, 
I just I just think if you live on one of those streets as a residential person and you don't live near commercial, it's weird to see a big bus. Maybe this is very American to say, but I think it's weird to see a big bus go by, like a passenger bus. Is that is that very is that just American? Do we just have piss poor public transit? I don't know. If I saw a, like a passenger bus go down my street, I'd be a little f f worried. Oh, oh, the dog. Hello, dog. Goodbye, dog. Yeah, so this is me just trying to make this park a little better. But again, this whole area is bad. I think I was just trying to clean it up to make it look better rather than just look like an unfinished mess. Um, but it's going to be changed, you know. And I think I, I do want to go back and I think I want to add some concrete or just some different kind of surface painter just to have some differences between the railroad where they were all merging and... But like you can see, like I think that does work well, where it's directly across from because people don't have to walk very far to go hop onto a bus. And this is where I have the tram station. Uh, I think I'll keep the tram station where it is. However, I just there's no longer the tram where I'm working right now. They don't do that right there. So I'm I'm thinking of pulling it off to the side, like on the other side of the tram station, kind of off and out of the way. Because I feel like in reality that would cause a lot of foot traffic, that would cause a lot of um, noise pollution. So I do want, I think I think that's valuable real estate. So maybe some like high rises would go right in front of the train station. So I think off, over off to the side where I have some of this industrial, I think I'm gonna put some bus transfers with some nice pedestrian paths and walkways and everything. I think that would be the, the, the nicest way of doing it. Yeah, and I end up starting to do the other side. I don't finish it, but um, it is finished now. Um, it does kind of skirt around, goes across the river over to the tree area, the tree industry, excuse me, and then it uh, merges back with the line with some junctions over in, I call the other side of the river, I call that area Clementine. That's just the name of the area, the, the, the sub-city, I guess you could call it. But, um, and there is a train station over there, and there's also a train station um, at Dalton Station, which is the community where the tree industry is and then over at the airport there's also a train station um i think eventually i'll have when we do metros which is further down the road um there is a really nice metro hookup for the airports and the airport dlc i haven't really looked at it but for right now the train station works fine um, it's just it's kind of like one of those things where the city got the grant to put an airport over there, or a line out to the airport, and it's kind of cumbersome. <laughs> I kind of like the way it looks. It's just, it's a weird junction that's semi-realistic that kind of goes under um, a highway exit and like over the, over the highway. So you can tell that it was done after the fact, and it's just one little branch, one way. Um, it's not a full circuit. So they have to go backtrack, um, go backwards and then forwards. So I kind of like the way I did that. So I might keep that there eventually. My only problem with it is the train station is off to the side instead of right in front of the uh, main terminal for the airport because I ended up putting parking right in front of the main airport, which I feel like as you start out as a regional airport, you wouldn't have the funds or necessarily the, the population to sit there and build an entire train station out in front of your regional airport. So I thought it was the most realistic to start out with a parking lot, and then eventually they built a train station as the city grew bigger um, off to the sides. So that's the story with that. I do like that idea. Um, and a part of that was laziness because I didn't really feel like sitting there and reworking all of my parking lots and everything just to put the train station right in front. Um, people still use it. There's a lot of pedestrian activity there, and I gave, um, I tried to at least give a lot of pedestrian walkway activity. So it's there, it works. Um, oh, yeah, and this is, <laughs> you might see the, uh, right there in that little peninsula, I put the, um, the other university, that's not where it stays. That's not where it stays. I move it because that's directly in the line of the flight path for the airport, and also, it just made no sense having all that traffic going to the university going directly through a quiet residential area. So I move that over into the area of Clementine so it is close to the airport so we can share a lot of the uh, transit um, facilities that the airport, sh um, airport shares. And again, what I'm doing right now, I end up deleting um, 
I just, I didn't like it. But um, we're coming to the end of the time lapse. So in just a few moments, we are going to jump into live play. So we'll see you in a moment. All right, welcome back, beautiful people. So, this is where we are right now. Um, I'm loving it so far. So here, this is what the city center kind of looks like at the moment. As I said, I deleted some of the um, university buildings. Like, I think I have what's auditorium, and then the um, main building. There's the dorm here, and then, I don't know, a library, whatever that is. So. That's about it, but um, it's they're, they're government buildings right now. <laughs> That's what they are. And um, Road City Center is just what it's called. So this is what the railway has ended up looking like. And actually, you know, I hate this. So why don't we just fix it right now? There we go. So this is what the um, railway has ended up looking like. It kind of goes over here. And then it goes over to the new oil industry branches out and then um, goes over to the bridge and then comes over to the Dalton station, which has its own small train station. It has the forestry industry cargo station, and then it comes over into Clementine and Clementine has this huge junction here. And this junction either goes out of the city um, to the um, east or west, and then oh, this is the extension over to the airport, which we'll look at in just a minute. But back to the train station. So, as I said, I didn't really do much over here. Um, I will, I want to. That's kind of on my list, on my agenda. Um, but here's the crappy zoo. Um, I haven't really done anything else over here. And nor have I done the, um, the sweeping neighborhoods over here yet either. So that's on the list. Um, this hasn't changed much over here. Oh, oh, I do need to get the automatic empty mod. I do not have that. Um, I just added two more dump facilities. Yep. And then the oil facility has its own cargo station. And then I do. I don't know where the highway is going to cut through. Um, I haven't built anything over here, but I do have a road here and that road will take people over um through adult station over to the highway through clementine so it's kind of a roundabout way but it might be faster rather than going through the city um i do have some like apartment complexes here some higher density city condo city apartments out here um so the density is growing so but i have de-zoned this area here. I'm thinking this area here, I will move the bus and um, tram transfers over here. That way I can reclaim this whole area for some nice or um, higher density, either residential that doesn't have noise pollution or uh, commercial. So I'll do that eventually. And then I do have, this is the collector. Um, it's nothing fancy, it's just a collector. I have, one, two, three, and then the main area intersections. So, and I think it does have a higher speed limit so people can go faster on that one. So, and I do want to, now that I think, now that I'm thinking of it, can I, I just want to take a little bit out and I want to go a little bit higher. Can I do that? Yeah, just to give like, I don't know, some interest, some intrigue, if you will. Yeah, that looks good. Perfect. Um, okay, and then the rest of the park is crap. Um, but let's go over and let's look. Nothing's really changed over here. Um, the highway, I do think, is going to cut through the industry area maybe go up and around this. So maybe it's a good thing that I haven't done the residential area in this part yet. 
um, but it would go up and around. I don't think it would cut through this area. There's already enough cutting through here, and I don't want to put, um, I don't want to interrupt any more of the water frontier, and I don't want to cut through that. So, I do think it will cut through there. Because um, as of right now, the only way is into the city from the highway is this junction here, um, and then two junctions over here. That's it. Otherwise, you got to go all the way down to here in Perryville and take this road up into the city. So there's not a lot of great connectivity in terms of highways or, or roads or anything like that. So um, this is where I originally had the um, oh my gosh university. Excuse me. So this doesn't really make sense anymore. I'll probably get rid of some of that and then rework the road networks. But as you can see, it's right in the flight path of the airport. So <laughs> it wouldn't be the most desirable place to live. And also, as I said, to get to that university that was here, you would have to cut through all of this residential. And to me, that just wasn't optimal. So I just didn't want to do it like that. So um, that's fine. There is some uh, residential in Dalton Station here. We have some like, um, mobile homes, uh, neighborhoods, some, oh, why are they upset? Oh, is it polluted? Eh, I guess that makes sense. Um, and then over here in Clementine, um, I, I don't mind this area. It's some, some lower density. There's some industrial here, some industry, some like organic industry as well. Um, there is another dump over here. I just needed it for the moment. So I might change that into a waste transfer facility, maybe like a big recycling center. Um, and as of right now, this is um, Standard Auto State University. So not much to it. It's pretty simple. Um, there is a train station for it. And then there is a track and field. I eventually want to get like bigger stuff going on here, uh, which I might branch off into the other side of the highway here. So um, there's two ways onto the highway. There's this road here that cuts um, and kind of turns around and goes to the airport. And then there's this area over here, which I think this would be pretty beefy. And then we'll have some like bigger density over here. Maybe some like the football field, whatever that can go over here. Um, but this is the air airport train line that comes over here down into the airport itself. And um, here is the parking lot for the airport. And as I said, like, I feel like the parking lot would have been built first rather than the train station. So the train station was an afterthought and that's just down here. Um, and then you have your local road, which comes through, which is what the train station is on. And then you have your road that comes up and onto the um, highway exit, which is actually got, this airport is kind of inspired by um, Harrisburg International Airport. If any of you have ever seen or flown into Harrisburg International Airport in the States, um, kind of like that. I've flown into that airport several times. So kind of know what that is like. So it's second nature, I guess you could say. But I did put the airport term, um, like airports over here kind of out of the way. Maybe that'll work, maybe not. Um, and then that's just the simple train line that goes to it. It's not the most popular, but it's okay. Um, but the airport itself, right now we are at capacity. Um, it wants to grow, it needs to grow. Um, I ended up having to take the taxiways and as i said like it's kind of cumbersome at times because in reality there'd be multiple exits and exit entrances and exits off the runways but with this airport dc dlc it would only let you do in the front um on either side of the runway which is kind of annoying um but the taxiways um i did have it just go i had it go straight like this originally but another thing i find a little bit annoying is the Planes come in with a gate already assigned, so to speak. So they will, if, a, if let's say this gate right here, this gate right here, actually, let me find a good, okay, active flights, three. So let's say this plane and two other planes are standing in line waiting for that same gate when all these other gates are open. Look, this one, six active flights. I get it, but I don't like it. So I had to kind of wind around this taxiway just so the line of uh, the line of planes would God, alleviate a little bit. But what I'm end up gonna what I'm gonna end up doing is this terminal is going to be expanded. Um, I eventually want it to become an international airport. So like we're gonna have some like terminals here. I think we're gonna delete these hangars. It's gonna come around like that. 
um, maybe even some satellite concourses down the road. Um, I think we're gonna take up this whole area. Um, so with multiple runways, I think that would be um, pretty fun. And But I want to do it in stages. Because if you look at some of the world's big, or the country's biggest airports, it's, that's how it's done. They start as regional airports. They, smart, start, yeah, they start as small airfields and then they grow and grow and grow. So some are piecemealed together and I just love that look. It's so crappy, but so realistic, just piecemealed. That's what I kind of want to do. I kind of want it to look a little crappy, but I want it to be realistic at the same time. And like a blend of old and like ultra modern, I think would be so fun. So um, um, the Dorado Regional Airport, we'll get there. I do eventually want to um, rename it to um, as a memorial to my late dog who passed recently, um, passed way too soon. So um, I do want to make a this airport and kind of a, a memorial to her. So I do want to do that, but I think that will be a dedicated episode when we start the airport expansion. Um, that's what this airport will be. So right now it's the Dorado Regional Airport and eventually it will become the um, Lisa Lynch International Airport or something like that. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, you know, it's not... It may not be the best memoriam, but in my mind, I love airports. I love aviation. And um, I obviously, I, I care deeply and I loved her. So I think that would be a nice little um, homage to her. So I am going to do that. Um, what else has changed in this area? Um, I have I have been mapping out the grids in this area. So that's what these grids are for. Kind of how I did over here, just because Western expansion, the zip codes and um, geological surveys are mapped out in grids. So that's kind of how this area was going to be formed. And I think this area, this expansion on this side of the highway will be mapped out that way. Um, it will be kind of planned that way. So. That's all for, uh, excuse me, <laughs> Al. That's all for right now. Um, The next episode, I do think I wanna start building a nuclear power plant just to get some big infrastructure projects going. And then um, I do want to do the highway and the uh, train overhaul. And then I want to start having, I wanna start some connections on this side of the map and then I wanna flatten out some of this area and do a new, like a mountain city, maybe with some ski lodges and some ski resorts, that would be fun. And then eventually, I kind of have ignored uh, North Del Mar for a little while. She's fine, she's operating, she's good, but eventually she needs to become the fun beach resort and I'm gonna have like some cruise terminals in here and then we're gonna start getting some um, cargo harbors and everything like that, but that's down the road. I do wanna focus on getting roads to be our shining jewel of the uh, region. So that's all that's going to happen for right now. But um, I will leave everybody here and hopefully I'll get this next episode out soon. This, uh, this episode will come out today, hopefully. And then um, I do want to record the next episode where we do either the nuclear power plant or start on the highway project, or we can start doing um, the airport renovation. Maybe like they got a grant, like a $5 billion grant, a part of this new um, infrastructure deal. Sure, let's throw some reality into that. Um, where they start uh, maybe a new runway and a terminal extension. So I think that'd be fun. I would love to do it in stages like that, where they just get the funding, raise the funding, um, and do it that way. So um, thank you everybody for watching. Um, I'm glad to be back. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please like and subscribe, all that fun stuff. Um, thanks for watching. Have a lovely and uh, have the day you have. See ya.